But first today, representatives from all the major political parties battled it out last night again in ITV's latest leadership debate. It was Labour's Angela Rayner and the Conservatives' Penny Mordaunt that got tongues wagging once again. You've so had we've got to make sure years to you, come up with some ideas on this, and we have. <laughs> we've got a blue <laughs> Higher taxes, higher taxes, higher taxes, what? higher taxes, what higher taxes, you about? higher taxes. Penny, <laughs> Penny you don't, don't answer somebody else's question, Penny Morden. <laughs> you can't that. afford. Okay, you can't afford another five years of the Tories. You do, you're promising tax cuts when you've already done that once and crashed the economy once. What, you've already done that once. So you can say that you're not going to raise capital she's, gains tax. She's answered. She's answered. Penny Morden, thank I you don't very think much. She has, though. Okay. Thank I don't you. think she has. Uh, that was kind of a rematch of uh, last Friday between Angela Rayner and Penny Morden. And the headlines this morning are like, Rayner and Morden clash again. Angela Rayner slaps down Penny Morden as the pair lock horns. And uh, so it's all of this very kind of you know, inflammatory language, if you like. Did you watch it, So I was watching Question Time on the other side. I, I did watch it, and then I have to admit, I completely zoned out mm -hmm. once we started talking over each other and it was just... I just couldn't bear it. I couldn't keep track of it. I mean, I, I think even, you know, Angela lost her place at one point. She, she went, sorry, I, I forgot what the question was, because it was just this barrage of noise. Mm -hmm. But what really upsets me is the headlines of that slaps down, <laughs> clashes. I mean, we don't hear that about men, do we? Mm. We never hear that about men. Men, when they argue, men are justified, men are noble. Women, mm. it's catty. We only have to look what happens on the panel. Mm, you know, we yeah. have a disagreement the next day in the headlines. There's something that we're not getting on. Someone next hates day, somebody. The next, said, 20 next, minutes, day, you know. next day, it won't be next day. It'll be 20 it, minutes it later. It infuriates me. Yeah. We are kind of used to that, though, aren't we, Judy? That we just know that's the way that yeah. the stories it's get fun. spun. But we shouldn't be all right like... because it trivialises women. It, may, it gives me a laugh in the supermarket when you stand yeah, in me. and look at these magazines. I think, oh, yeah. what did she do? What did you do? <laughs> I've actually called you up once and said, did you really do that? And you said, don't be so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> But, but it is bad, yeah. you're right, Sue. Yeah. I do, I do, do you know, last night, well, same with the loose women, so I do find any, anything I'm doing, anything I'm working on, the first question a journalist would normally ask me is, so how really are the ladies? Mm. And I'm like, they're really great. And it's just a constant They question. don't want to hear it, do No, they? like, but who, who's the most craziest? Who's the most, you know, opinionated? And I'm like, well, they all, all 20 of the amazing mm. women are. And they just don't get it. They just want that extra bit of juice of something. Do you think they right. ever say to Gary Lineker? Do you really get no. on with Alan Shearer? No. I mean, do you go out, no. do you? Do you go on holiday together? And it's like with shows like Top Gear back in the day. You know, yeah. They had so much sarcasm and banter with each other and winding each other up. And it was never in the papers the next day. Whereas mm. when we do it on here, it's, it's oh, Colin had a go at such and such and they were fuming or yeah. loose women at war. And it's like, It's because we've got opinions and we mm. won't stop having what, opinions. What, <laughs> But we got, what, what frightens me about some of the, the tabloids and things who write these things... Well, it's not are, just the tabloids, it, No, but, a, no, but a lot of the mm. magazines... I notice that a lot of the writers are women. Yeah. And that terrifies me, because that perpetuates that women are their own biggest threat. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, I mean, though, in terms of, like, our regular lives, I mean, a lot of women don't like to... And argue is a difficult word, isn't it? Because it's quite an aggressive word. But, I mean, we often do shrink back mm -hmm. and, and you don't want to get engaged in what you think might be a confrontation because mm -hmm. you're, you're scared of where it leads. Yeah. Or are we not like that? No, no. I, you know, I, do you know what? I was having this <laughs> conversation not. the other day with my therapist and I was saying about, like... <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I was. I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed. I'm very happy to have a therapist. And I was saying this about, like, I don't really argue with my friends. Uh, if they say something or do something that I'm not comfortable or not happy with, I feel like I give them a free pass because I think my circle is so small that I value that relationship so much that actually in that moment of me making a point doesn't seem as relevant to affect the relationship. So mm. the conversation I was having, well, is that me actually being scared of actually confrontation or, or airing it out? Or do I feel like, oh, it's just a protective factor because in that moment, I don't know what they're going through or how I might respond. So I don't really argue with friends. It's a fine line, friends. isn't it? Well, yeah, it, it is, is a, a fine line. line. And also, you could ruin a relationship by something the next trivial. day is yeah. so trivial. Yeah, so and trivial. And yet you've, you've ruined mm. a lifelong... And friendship. my friends are very opinionated. I don't think I could win an argument <laughs> half of them, so... <laughs>
I think in the moment, you know, you've got to try and not react. But mm. then having said that, if there was a pattern of behaviour yes. that, that you saw was kind of ongoing and ongoing... Yeah. And you were, then, yeah. ..and the friendship was making you start to feel bad rather than good, then maybe it would be a time to address it. But it's Definitely. still a really difficult conversation to, to have mm -hmm. because you risk, you know, that you just kind of have a big blowout and you go in your And I still think you should wait before you come back. It's something that's set you in because the easiest thing is to just blow and then you're both shouting at each other yeah, like they were absolutely. doing last night. Uh, yeah. Whereas if you wait even an hour, you can go back and go, that really upset yeah. me, what you said. And, and you, so, you have... know, sometimes I find that within an argument, you might feel offended, but actually the conversation or what the subject is is actually a trigger that you have. So that's Absolutely. what I reflect. Sometimes I need to go back and find out why, why have I felt offended by that? And that's yeah. what I find, OK, it's, it's something that I need to deal with first. Also, I think on this whole subject, I think we've forgotten the art of listening. Hmm. I think, I really think that to properly listen... What'd you say? No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it help you, so. <laughs> You know, in order to listen, you cannot be thinking about, in your head, about what you're going to respond mm. with, like we see on these debates, which yeah. end, uh, ends like that. Yeah. Mm. People yeah. really have... Listening is an art form, and we're not very good at it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, you're absolutely right, and you can see in all of these debates, and they're probably all guilty of it, they're standing there and they're waiting for their opportunity to get in, waiting for their opportunity to say their bit, and mm. whether that plays with the audience, well, we will find out on the 4th of July, won't we?